What's up everybody, my name's Hannah. I'm a brand designer from Newcastle, Australia. And today I'm gonna to run you through my new shop product, which is a Lush Tropical Branding Kit. And what that is, is um, bespoke custom hand illustrated uh, elements that you can build a brand from. I've got brand marks, logos, patterns, color swatches, business card templates, lo uh, icons, there's a lot of stuff in there. So this version is for Adobe Illustrator. Um, I will do a separate video for Canva. But for those designers who are using the Adobe Suite, um, the option of having the Canva elements is really awesome because you don't have to faff around at all getting the stuff into Canva. You can kind of just use the elements from there as is, change the colors accordingly, and um, do up your templates from there or use the existing um, business card templates to hand over to your clients so that they can edit on their end. All right, so uh, first I think I'm gonna jump into the brand kit and show you around a little bit. Okay, this is what we see when we open the Adobe Illustrator file, which is one of the downloads. Um, and I've got a number of different elements here. And they're all just to create a foundation of a brand for you to kind of make things a little bit easier. I'm sure we've all sat up at 11 p.m. at night trying to get a client project out, just feeling no inspiration whatsoever, thinking, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? So this is kind of uh, to help you with burnout, you know, a bit of inspiration. Um, and they're really high quality design assets as well. So you could use them across different brands if you wanted to and make them unique to each brand. Um, so we've got some uh, illustrated elements here. These are all hand illustrated by me. They're tropical leaves. We've got some really nice texture going on. Um, they look really nice and organic. So it doesn't look like just standard clip art that you would get. Um, I've got a second option here. So that was outlines and this one is outline and fill. So this one here has the shape behind it. And I've um, created these shapes and made sure they fit in behind the line work without showing through. Uh, just because you want that professional finish. You don't want any color like peeking out. And the third option is the fill only. And the fill only is just a single shape, no outline around it. And these, again, have been specifically optimized for that darker background so that, you know, each version you're using for each format is gonna look the best that it can look. Next, we have brand marks. So brand marks I've created because they can be the basis of a logo for your brand, or they could, um, uh, just complement the branding that you're working on at the moment. Or you could just use little elements in patterns and things like that. All the text is customizable. This one is um, the outline version. And then I also have the fill version as well with two colors. And the fonts are included in the download. They're Google fonts. So all you have to do is open them and install them in your system. Or uh, if you prefer, you can go to the Google website, the Google fonts website and download them from there. And for Canva, they're already loaded in. So you don't have to worry about that. And the Canva version is also um, compatible with the free version of Canva, so you don't have to have a pro account to, uh, to use the elements in there. Next, I've got some color patterns. So I've just created these color patterns based on the general vibe, the theme of the product, which is tropical and calming and very lush. So I wanted to go with something more earthy as well and organic. Um, these are just recommendations. They're all here because I like to see them kind of out in the open, but I've also got um, all of these swatches available um, in their um, colour groups, um, named <laughs> with numbers, which is very helpful, I find. Um, but you can kind of mix and match if you see the combos that you like. Um, they're just for inspiration, so you can completely add your own. It's totally customizable. Next, we have uh, patterns. So I've created these tileable patterns, and they're squares and they line up exactly next to each other. So I'll just show you how that works. So that lines up perfectly. Um, but if you, and the background is, I'll just ungroup, the background is editable, the line work for each of these are editable, so the possibilities are really endless with them, whatever you want to do. So let's change the colour for this, just as an example, and then to create a pattern, instead of just stacking them next to each other, um, a really great tip is to drag it into the swatches palette, uh, palette sorry, that was weird. And um, then you can create your shape and then click on that swatch and it will fill with your pattern and it's seamless. So you could make it as small, as big, any shape you want and that will work. Alrighty, and I've got a um, an outline version as well and then the dark with the fill version. So you don't even have to mess around setting those up. Um, the next element I've got is a brand board and everybody loves a brand board. Um, I've like to post them on social media a lot. I have a lot of fun um, 
recording my process as I fill them out and then posting it so that's an option but it's nice to kind of keep it all your branding together you get a feeling uh, of the brand the look and feel of it you've got an area here to place a mock-up of your business card and if it's a very small project or if you're just making quick amendments to an existing project you can use it to send through to a client to approve without having to set up a whole document a whole presentation um, finally in this document we've got the social media highlight icons and these are just again set up um, with the right line work or illustration style on the light background or the dark background and you can save those out as is or change the colors change the elements do anything you want to it really it's all um, live vector okay next we're going to jump across into the business cards all right here are the business cards I've got four different kinds and they're all double-sided so they're um, set up to be generic uh, you can go ahead and add your logo to the front or add text to the bottom there the business name the person's name here um, all live editable text they're nice and um, um, modern and simple so that you can kind of uh, do what you want with it but there's some elements in there too that you can play with um, they're all set up in CMYK which is the correct profile for print and with the correct amount of bleed as well um, alrighty okay well that was the walkthrough I hope you find it useful um, if you have any questions just let me know I'm always happy to provide ongoing support for my products so anything I can do to help uh, otherwise I'd love to hear your thoughts as it's a new, pro uh, new product um, and I will see you next time